As the world continues to evolve, so do the cars we drive, and the upcoming vehicles of 2024 are sure to impress with their cutting-edge features and advanced technology. And here are the recently revealed new vehicles that you'll be happy to know about. Kia EV5 If you're going to buy a crossover EV SUV, then you may want to wait a little bit for the all-new Kia EV5. This one is bound to be a delight. If Kia's recent press release are anything to go by, then we can expect great things from the EV5. So far, major specs and numbers are kept as a secret, but the overall design direction has Kia fans on a high. It draws most of its inspiration from the earlier announced EV9, and we have to say that this is very well done. From the amazing design on the outside to a very unusual design on the inside as well, the rear hinged doors swing open to reveal a very spacious cabin with seats that turn in different directions. Considering that this is still a concept design and not the final production unit of the vehicle, we do expect a few things to be toned down. But you have to give Kia credit for being so aggressive with EV options you can buy from them. Hyundai Kona Hyundai is now prepared to introduce the new crossover generation, which will hit American shores for the 2024 model year. There will be four different variants. Unsurprisingly, we are getting an EV version now. Then there is purely combustion powered, a hybrid, and the inline. Hyundai's designers first created the new Kona EV before incorporating the design into the other models. They all have a recognizable light bar along the edge of the hood up front. Below this strip, on the corners, are the headlights. The 2024 Hyundai Kona retains both of its four-cylinder engines from the previous generation. A 147-horsepower 2.0-liter engine will be the base model, with a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine offered as an option. The hybrid drivetrain revealed for the Kona in other regions might also be available. Cadillac Lyric by far one of the most interesting luxury electric SUVs you will ever set your eyes on, the new Lyric is making a return in 2024, with interesting changes based on customers' feedback. The major update to the Lyric is the new trim levels. You get a base model, tech trim, a mid-range luxury trim, and the top of the class is the new Sport. The major differences between these three trims are more aesthetic than functional, you may be able to go with either and still be just fine. Choreographed exterior lights, illuminated door handles, and rain-sensing wipers are the kind of features you may be missing out on if you go for the base model. Interestingly, range estimates are lower than they were in the 2023 Lyric. Rear-wheel drive will offer about 308 miles, while you get one mile less on all-wheel drive at 307 miles. Performance is to be the same with 340 horsepower on the single motor rear wheel drive and 500 horsepower on the dual motor all wheel drive variant. The 2023 model did not disappoint in performance, especially for a vehicle this size in the SUV class, and we expect more of the same from the new Lyric. Good news is that the base level still starts at around $59,000. Audi Q6 e-tron Q6 e-tron is Audi's latest all-new electric SUV that is truly performance and design masterpiece. Audi has been quite busy when it comes to electric vehicles, and it looks like they're taking the flight one step further with the new Q6 e-tron. So far, the design on the test units that have been spotted reveal its unique design language that Audi has built from this particular vehicle. Furthermore, Audi has confirmed that its Q6 e-tron will carry a massive 800 volt electrical system. It will have also two design variations, one regular crossover SUV shape and a sloped back version that give a more sporty vibe. Judging by the number attached to the name, this should be a middle ground from what the Q4 and Q8 e-tron offer. Kia EV9 Early 2024 is when the 2024 Kia EV9 is anticipated to appear. The 2024 Kia EV9 will be built on the EV6's popularity, while being a big brother SUV with three rows. Interestingly, there will be five different trim options for the EV9, with a starting price of about $55,000. 
When built with max options, it should have roughly 400 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. If you want the top potent version of this EV, those are not bad numbers for a three-row family SUV. For Kia, it's crucial to have a family EV in the fleet as the auto industry embraces electrification more and more. That will be the 2024 Kia EV9, depending on how the interior is set up. It will most likely have seats for six or seven people as a three-row SUV. Buick Electra E5 Finally, Buick is also getting into the electric car race with the new Electra E5. Interestingly, the SUV will run on an Ultium battery platform that is designed by General Motors. It may also be similar in specs to the Cadillac Lyric, but more a budget version. The Electra SUV is expected to have between 350 to 400 horsepower, depending on its trims and feature level. The design of the new Buick EV is quite balanced. On the outside, you're getting a good mix of a traditional design and the futuristic style of an electric car. The interior, on the other hand, looks absolutely amazing and unique for the Buick brand. The style, color theme, space, multicolored ambient lighting, and a curved 30-inch infotainment display. This is bound to be a pretty cool SUV for both China and US markets. VinFast VF7 the VF7 is VinFast's response to the Toyota BZ4X, which suggests that it might end up being a possible best fan favor of VinFast electric SUVs. The VF7 should appeal to a wide range of electric SUV buyers because it's compact enough for confined urban environments, but substantially large enough to compete on the open road. VinFast will be offered in Eco and Plus versions, just like the smaller VF6. 349 horsepower and 368 pounds-feet of torque are anticipated to be produced by the more potent dual-motor all-wheel drive Plus variant. Regarding the front drive, single-motor VF7 Eco, expect the same 201 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque, but hopefully something more optimized to offer a little more punch. Details about battery pack capacity and EV system charging are not yet available. The VF7 will be marketed as an upscale electric crossover with options including premium vegan leather, upholstery trim, and a panoramic sunroof. A front LED light bar with animated effects and rear trademark LED lights are among its exterior features. Each VF7 will also be equipped with various active driver assistance systems. Mercedes AMG EQE SUV Mercedes unveiled a fully electric SUV that was more the potent AMG model, giving the five-seater up to 671 horsepower and 500 kilowatts. The two variants each have their front fascias, while the standard EQE SUV has a closed-off grille with a star motif. AMG's face has vertical accents with a Panamericana grille-inspired appearance. The interiors of the two vehicles are similar and both come with the brand's optional hyperscreen display. Mercedes will also provide four trim levels for the Mercedes AMG EQE SUV, from the base 350 plus to the AMG, and the rear wheel drive 350 plus will have a single motor producing 288 horsepower, 214 kilowatt, and 417 pound feet, 565 newton meters of torque. Mercedes will sell the 536 horsepower, 392 kilowatt EQE 500 SUV and the dual motor EQE 350 4 Matic. Customization will allow new Mercedes EQE owners to determine price as well as how long their vehicle can go when fully charged. Jeep Recon EV The Jeep is unique in the new lineup. The impending 2024 Jeep Recon EV is coming to crawl rocks to say it exactly. Electric vehicles have impacted nearly every market, zapping into classes of vehicles like full-size pickup trucks, station wagons, luxury SUVs, and now this. The four-wheel drive Recon EV is a fully electric midsize SUV with a power folding rooftop and easily detachable doors inspired by the Wrangler 4XE plug-in hybrid Initial renderings show a spare tire mounted on the tailgate, the LED 7th slot front grille, 
the beefy BF Goodrich rubber and the seats for up to five people on top of rubberized flooring can all be seen in initial renders. As one of two new electric models to the Jeep portfolio, the Recon EV will join the impending Wagoneer EV. We anticipate the Jeep Recon EV to be about the same size as the current Jeep Wrangler or two-row Grand Cherokee because it belongs to the midsize SUV class. According to Jeep, the Recon EV production will be scheduled to begin sometime in 2024. Genesis GV70 With everything turning electric in 2024, Genesis has decided to fully electrify its premium V6 engine GV70 SUV, and many people will probably consider it as their next luxury electric SUV. If you already like how the gas-powered GV70 looks, then you will be happy to know that not a lot has changed in its incoming electrified version on the exterior. If you don't, well, you may want to look at it again, because this masterpiece SUV stands out from the crowd. Also, you'd be glad to know that the mechanical makeup of the electrified GV70 will offer just about the same feat as driving its gas-powered counterpart, which will make it easy for people transitioning from gas to electric. As for specs, you're getting 77.5 kilowatt battery that should last around 250 to 350 miles of driving on a single charge. Also, with the dual-motor all-wheel drive version, you should be packing about 429 horsepower. With the 2024 Genesis GV70 Electric, the luxury SUV segment is going to get even more competitive. Maserati Grey Cal Fog Array With the 2024 Grey Cal Fog Array, an electric version of its new Grey Cal SUV, Maserati is revitalizing its lineup. Given that the Italian word Fog Array means lightning, we anticipate the EV crossover to bolt from the rest. It promises to have that ability. The Italian automaker will achieve its goal of electrifying its car and SUV options as the Grey Cal Folgare will join the Gran Turismo Folgare sports car. With a few notable exceptions like a distinctive grille treatment and beautiful Folgare specific wheel designs, the Grey Cal Folgare's attractive exterior style is a close replica of the gasoline-powered counterpart. The Folgare's propulsion system still lacks details, although Maserati has promised a large 105 kilowatt hour battery pack, which should offer a highly competitive driving range. However, whether this figure refers to total or usable capacity needs to be clarified. Maserati has stated that the Grey Cal Folgare's powertrain will produce up to 590 pound-feet of torque. That electric drivetrain should offer quick acceleration, allowing it to compete with big players like the Tesla Model X. Lucid Gravity The Gravity Electric SUV is the logical step after the release of the Lucid Air Electric Luxury Sedan. The 2024 Lucid Gravity is anticipated to take what the Air offers but adding a higher seating position, a more spacious cabin, an SUV design, and yes, a higher price. It will use the same technology as the Air. The Air sedan serves as the mechanical foundation for the Lucid Gravity SUV. We anticipate a version with dual electric motors and standard all-wheel drive. Like the Air, the Gravity will be available in high-performance Grand Touring model with up to 1,200 horsepower. However, a Sapphire variant with up to 1,000 horsepower is also possible. The most expensive variants like the Air will probably be the most potent with lower end gravity trims having lesser horsepower figures. The Gravity's taller, more angular SUV appearance will likely be less aerodynamic. Range should be slightly reduced as a result, even though its sedan brother promises a driving range of up to 516 miles per charge of its 112 kilowatt hour battery pack. The Gravity should be able to charge quickly using DC fast charging, just like the Air, it may include three years of free charging at Electrify America charging stations, plus still be eligible for federal tax credits for a couple more years. Hyundai Ioniq 7 The 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 7, an all-electric SUV resembling the three-row Hyundai Palisade, is the new electric car Hyundai plans to use as a trigger for deep market penetration. 
This vehicle will have a seating capacity of seven or eight. The Hyundai Ioniq 7 model is one of three new electric vehicles the company has already committed to releasing in the following years. There is no official word on the vehicle's release, although three trim levels might be anticipated. Because the company is concentrating on producing a vehicle that has a driving range of 300 miles minimum, it is anticipated that this vehicle will feature a huge usable capacity battery and a 350 kilowatt fast charger will be included. Pretty decent performance, but for a much cheaper price. Acura ZDX. This is clearly Acura's first major attempt to join the EV movement. However, expectations are already high for the 2024 Acura ZDX. There has been some chatter about the 2024 ZDX sharing the same platform with the Cadillac Lyric. While that might come as a shock, it should not distract you from the bigger picture. Cadillac Lyric is a pretty amazing ride, and if that is anything to go by, then we may be getting the 2024 ZDX with around 500 horsepower at its most powerful stage. Acura has not yet stated what the battery capacity will be. Nonetheless, the 2024 Acura ZDX may be getting the same 102 kilowatt hour battery from the Lyric. So, we are also looking forward to a range in the 300 mile per charge region. The 2024 ZDX is expected to retail at about $60,000 to $70,000 for its base model, and we're looking forward to how this turns out in production. Land Rover Range Rover EV With Land Rover's brand new chassis that can accommodate gas, plug-in hybrid, or electric propulsion, the company's flagship EV model now makes an evolutionary leap into the completely electric area. Luxury SUV that is also electric is expected to bring out the best of the Range Rover's unique and recognizable design reputation. Battery range, power, and pricing are among the crucial characteristics that are important, but we anticipate the Range Rover EV to maintain the plushness and strong off-road prowess that have come to represent the brand since it was introduced in the United States in 1987. An all-new chassis and new electric powertrain will be used in the 2024 Range Rover EV. The electric vehicle will be built on the long wheelbase variant, which should allow for three rows of seating, just like the current gas-powered range. A new multi-link suspension design frees up more space for the EV's battery and rear wheel steering system by reducing the amount of room required for wheel articulation. Genesis GV90 Taking the luxury EV SUV conversation to a whole new level is the new 2024 Genesis GV90. It is the brand's first attempt at a three-row electric SUV and it is said to be their flagship SUV. Genesis has always been great with its design appeal, and all that inspiration will also be transported to the GV90, so hopes are high. At the moment, we know that the GV90 will share the same powertrain as the upcoming Kia EV9 and Hyundai Ioniq 7. This should produce impressive results on the step of the pedal, as well as an impressive range of around 300 miles on a single charge minimum. Genesis will also benefit from the 350K W fast charging infrastructure of Hyundai Motor Group, just like two other brands like Kia and Hyundai. Most importantly, Genesis promised to keep the luxury standards throughout the interior and exterior of this three-row SUV. Jeep Wagoneer EV The all-electric 2024 Wagoneer will be one of two electric SUVs offered in the North American market we are getting a possible range of 400 miles per charge, a 600 horsepower output, allowing the electrified SUV to accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in around 3.5 seconds. The launch of the Jeep Wagoneer EV marks a significant turning point for the off-road brand, which anticipates that by 2030. EV sales will account for 50% of total sales in the United States. Despite being Jeep's first fully electric vehicle, the 2024 Wagoneer EV will take design cues from the company's current gasoline-powered vehicles and combine them with the EV-like elements like a grill that lights up. The Wagoneer EV has a futuristic appearance 
thanks to this fusion of contemporary and classic style features while still looking like a Jeep.